Well, you're bound to be struck by some of the evidence that's put forward about the effects that uh, sitting down for too long and not moving around very much have on you. I mean, I like to think I'm a reasonably active person. I exercise regularly. I try to walk around a fair amount. Um, but, I, you know, in my workplace is one where, you know, if you're presenting a radio program for three hours, um, you can't get up and walk around by definition because the microphone's on the table so you've got to stay next to it and if you need to go to the loo, tough, you exercise your bladder sufficiently to not do that. <laughs> so you know there are certain things you can't do but I think what it does is it plants in your mind the opportunities that perhaps you don't take in the workplace to move around, to exercise, to stand up and do all the other things that you should be doing. It plants in your mind the fact that actually there are moments when you could do that and at the moment you don't. 2020, so we're talking four years hence. Four years. Uh, I think there'll be quite a big difference by then. I get the sense that things are moving in this country to sort of uh, realise some of the important messages that have come across today um, and will have moved significantly forwards by then. Um, I'm struck by some of the evidence from other European countries which are clearly ahead of the game on this one. I think by 2020 um, the evidence will be more compelling, the changes that people will have made will have probably happen more often um, and yeah, I think we'll be looking at quite a different climate by then.